Okay, so what we have here is the Dana 80 uh, with, the, with the True Track. Uh, as, as a lot of you guys know, working with Danas, the carrier shims go on before the bearing gets pressed on. The problem being with that is if you have to change your, your backlash, you're having to pull a bearing off and on. As we know, pulling a back bearing off and on, the, you have a high chance of, of ruining the bearing and then you're screwed, you have to get, in, get a new bearing. So an old trick that people do is they will take an old bearing that they, they have around or that they pulled off the old carrier or whatever, and they'll, they'll take it and they'll, what, would, what, what they do is they sand this out. As you can tell, I've already been working on this one, but what you do is you take, you just take a die grinder with a flappy wheel on it and just make a bunch of passes on the inside. Something like that. It'll take you several minutes. But when you're done, you now have a setup bearing. Just slides off and on. That way, if you do need to adjust your, your settings, you just pull the carrier out, pull the pull the bearing off, pull the you know just change your shims as needed. And then when you have final setup, you can press your new bearings on because you already have the correct preload and backlash. Much easier. Yes. So there you go. That's how you build setup bearings. Thank you.